let p and x denote, denote the vector space of all polynomials over r having degree at most n then dimension of p and x is so dimension of p and x will be n plus 1 option b is right one but how it is coming i explain you if you consider p to x means all polynomial in variable x degree at most 2 then structure may be x x square plus a and constant this types of polynomials comes in p to x degree at most 2 means a degree may be 0 degree may be 1 and degree may be 2 so constant polynomials having degree 0 linear polynomial degree 1 and quadratic polynomial degree 2 1 x and x square this set will help you to generate all polynomials of degree at most 2 1 helps helps you to generate constant polynomial x helps you to generate linear polynomial and x square helps you generate quadratic polynomial so this is the basis set this is basis containing three elements that's why dimension of p to x equals to 2 plus 1 similarly dimension of p n x will be n plus 1 so this is true for polynomial case or polynomial vector space but in the case of n n r let us suppose n n r forms a vector space and the dimension of this vector space is n square because of if you consider any square matrix then you are independent at n square possible choices that's why its a dimension is n cross n or you can say n square in the case of n n over c the dimension of this vector space over r is n square two times because for each element you are independent of two choices because if you take a complex number a plus b alpha then this is coming from real and this is coming from real so for each complex number you are independent of two choices that's why dimension will be 2n square 